Purchase Day Mini XT, let's go over a few steps to get started. First, you'll need your Structure Scan Mini XT and a battery. We're going to take the battery, we're going to place it into the XT, and here it lock in place, then press the power button to the right of the battery to power the unit on. Once you see the front splash screen and then the menu, we're ready to get started. GSSI Structure Scan Mini XT has many ways in which to calibrate the dielectric constant, one of which is set dielectric. Calibrating your dielectric constant is critical if you need to provide accurate depths to your clients. The only prerequisite to performing set dielectric is to know the direction that your targets are traveling in. After we mark the ground a few times to get a sense of where our targets are traveling, we can travel over them at a 90 degree angle and calibrate our constant. With our markings on the ground, we're now ready to travel over our target at a 90 degree angle. So I'll push my scanner forwards, I'll move it back, and use my finger to place a crosshair at the peak of the hyperbola that I'm fitting. I'll then move over to calibrate along the bottom of the menu and select set dielectric, which brings up the hyperbola fitting tool. With the tool on the screen, I can then take my finger and move it along the vertical scale or use the up and down arrow keys to change the shape of the tool so that the tool fits the target that I see on the screen, thus calibrating our dielectric constant. To collect a 3D grid on your Structure Scan Mini XT, you'll need to make certain that Scan 3D is selected at the top of the screen. With Scan 3D selected, we can then navigate down and over to Scan Setup. In the Scan Setup screen, we'll need to make certain we have the appropriate grid size selected, as well as dielectric, depth, and other parameters of interest. Once we have everything set up properly, we'll press up to exit the menu and then left to begin scanning. Once the grid appears on the screen, we can take our XT and if the lasers are on, use the lasers or the grooves on the sides in front of the device to line up for your first profile. Once you're lined up, you can either press the enter button overrun or pull the trigger on the handle to begin data collection. Once you've begun data collection and hear the beep if the sound is on, you can press the XT forwards and off the grid. You'll see it stop scanning and with the sound on, hear two beeps to let you know that it's ready to collect the next profile. Once the entire 3D grid is collected, we can play back and review the data if we'd like. If you believe you may have messed a line up, you can always use the next line or previous line options to collect data over that profile again. Assuming all of your files are fine, close grid at the bottom of the screen and press enter to exit out of here. We'll then go back to the main menu and then over to playback setup in the scan 3D submenu. Once in playback setup, we'll go over to files and then select the grid that we'd like to review by pressing the right arrow, going down, and then pressing the enter button to put a check mark next to it. With the check mark next to our grid, we can press the left arrow and then the down arrow to play back and load our grid. GSSI's LineTrack XT adds the ability to detect AC power and induce RF present in conduits. This accessory detects low amplitude AC signals associated with difficult to locate conduits. The LineTrack info seamlessly fuses with your GPR data, aids in target discrimination, allows for detection at 50 or 60 Hz, and has a rugged IP65 rated enclosure.
To attach the Line Track XT to your Structure Skin Mini XT, you will need the tool supplied in your Mini XT Pelican case. We're going to take the Mini XT and lift it upright and use the tool to remove the front plate. Once the screws are loose, we can lift the front plate off, thus freeing up the pins. We can then use the guiding pin and the guide on the Line Track XT to line the device up at the front. Once the line track is in place, we're going to take the tool and screw it down to the front. We'll know the line track has been properly attached after we turn the XT on, as we'll recognize the logo on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Also, make certain that you select Scan Max and make sure that the line track is on before surveying. GSSI's Palm XT accessory is a small form factor GPR antenna that allows users unprecedented access in tightly spaced areas and enables easy overhead scanning. The 2300 MHz antenna offers superior depth penetration and high resolution. The full keypad control on the antenna top provides remote control of the user interface, and the accessory allows for three data collection modes, standard, sidecar, and cross-polarization. To attach the Palm XT to your StructureScan Mini XT, you will need the tool supplied in your Mini XT Pelican case. We're going to use this tool to detach the four pins connecting the handle to the front plate on the XT. Once the screws are loose, we should be able to lift the handle off of the XT and then take the palm attachment plate and attach it to the pins. Pay special attention to the pins along the bottom and make sure to not bend them as you attach the plate to the top. Once you feel it pop into place, we're going to use the tool to screw down the plate and then we can power on the Mini XT. When the Mini XT is powered on, pay attention to the bottom left hand corner and make sure you recognize the Palm XT logo there. Also, if this is the first time using the Palm XT on your Mini XT, you will need to calibrate this antenna before surveying.